helping more Nebraskans put food on the table. That's the goal of a bill in the state legislature. Good evening. I'm Quinesia Fraser. I'm Bill Shammer. And a few years ago, families had to make 130 percent of the federal poverty level to qualify for SNAP. A 2021 state law raised that requirement to 165 percent. That is set to end this fall, going back to 130 percent. Nebraska DHHS says 1,100 households who currently qualify for SNAP would lose their benefits. LB 84 aims to prevent that from happening, and because of inflation, advocates say it's crucial. People are hurting. Lately, the Food Bank for the Heartland has been serving more people than ever. Right now, we're serving 25% more people than we were a year ago, and if we reduce SNAP benefits, that is going to um, push more people into the system where they go to pantries that are already overloaded with people that are, they're having a difficult time serving. That's why President and CEO Brian Bark says they're backing LB84 in the Unicam rule. Grocery store prices and inflation have hit 40-year highs while wages have not kept up in pace. State Senator Jen Day is behind LB84. It would ensure families making 165 percent of the federal poverty level or below can still qualify for SNAP benefits. That extra boost came from a 2021 bill. The pandemic pushed a lot of people into the food insecurity arena. Inflation has pushed even more. Now the limit is set to go back to 130 percent in the fall, but Senator Day's bill aims to keep the threshold at 165 percent. The opposition to LB84 is not out of an intent because we don't think uh, people who are especially vulnerable need assistance or uh, that this is about taking away um, benefits for the truly needy. Several supporters testified Thursday, but Opportunity Solutions Project, an advocacy group based out of Florida, says LB84 is not the route to take. Instead of expanding uh, welfare and this food ben benefits to sort of this permanent increase on the net income um, or gross income, Nebraska should stick, we believe, with the federal income and asset test and reserve food stamps for the truly needy. But supporters like Bark say that now more families are in need of the extra help. The last thing that we need to do is to throw a roadblock in front of people who need benefits. The bill is still in committee. We'll keep following this and let you know if it advances to the floor for debate.